Okay, so I'm sure all of you have heard several times over, audio is so important. Audio, it's so important. You have to have good audio. It's probably because it's true. If you have a great video, but the audio sucks, people are more likely to crap on your video than if you had some mistakes throughout the video, but great audio, if that makes any sense. So today, we are gonna do one little thing that you can use for like interviews or talking segments. It's gonna make your audio just that much cleaner and it's gonna just boost up your video. It's Workflow Wednesday. All right, so we're talking audio. Now you could be filming uh, an interview or like a talking head segment or you could even be starting a YouTube channel and you are talking to the camera. One thing you'll notice a lot of YouTubers do is something called a jump cut where they just hard cut to the next section because you know, they might've been like, um, or thinking about what they're gonna say next. So they'll throw in a hard cut to go from one thought to the next and keep it flowing nice and quick, keep the video going nice and smooth. When you do that, the way you talk and what you say, if there isn't enough separation between the sentences, might run over each other and it might sound funny, you might get these like, bumps and spikes in the audio that happen every time you hit that jump cut. So visually, our minds will excuse the jump cut, what we're seeing, but when we hear that the voice is like, uh, 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 when we hear that with the voice, we can't process it properly. So let's do this one trick. It'll take just a couple seconds and I promise you, you're gonna start using it on all the talking segments or interviews or even voiceover work that you guys do. Let's hop into Premiere. So we're in Premiere, and as you can see here on the bottom of the timeline, I've got all my jump cuts made, and it just flows from one thought to the next. It's super simple to do. You're gonna go up to the Effects panel, type in Cross, because we're using Crossfade. Go down to Constant Power, and drag that between the two audio clips. Now you're gonna shrink it down a bit, because you don't want too much. And then when you play it back, you're gonna get a smooth transition from the first sentence to the next sentence. It's gonna sound like it all flows, even though the video has a hard cut. This actually comes in really handy if you're doing like a, a voiceover slash interview and you're, you have B-roll on the screen and someone's talking underneath. You can use this to make the viewer believe that what they were saying is all one sentence, even if the speaker might have stumbled up or made some mistakes along the way. It's honestly just that simple. So we'll go a little bit further. This is from my Thailand vlog, which if you haven't watched it, you should, I'll just put that right up here. You can go watch it. It's hilarious, I think. I digress. So we've got this section of the, the video where I do this whip transition and all of a sudden we're in the Thailand airport. Now, on the timeline, there's a distinct difference in the audio between the Toronto airport and the Thailand airport. So we're gonna use this trick. Go to crossfade, drag down that constant power, over the split between the two airports. Bring it in a little so there's not too much. And then when we play it back, it sounds seamless. Watch this. 22 hours later, we're in Thailand. Watch this. 22 hours later, we're in Thailand. I hope that was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you found that helpful, if you knew that already. If you didn't, if you learned something new today, just fire it down and be like, Dan, you taught me something new today. And then when you're done that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on the bell if you haven't done that already. So I can catch you guys in the next video. Love ya.